Hello YouTube. So today we're going to fix uh, this nice STS drill. Basically this thing here it gets stuck. I have already mounted it correctly but it doesn't want to to work. So that means something is broken in here. So I have the exploded part list. There you go. For now we're going to to dismount this. This assemble this. Okay. Let's find it. is a posy drive here. Oh. Let's see if we can fit in there with this. I'm going to take the electrical oh, apart. I just paid the 15 quid for this. So there is just the wire that is broken. I changed it and there is a mechanical fault that I didn't notice. And this cost a good 130 pounds, so maybe the part is not that expensive. Until we, we get there, it's a lot of parts, a lot of mechanical shit. So basically now we take this apart and we remove the electrical and then we will struggle with the mechanics. Come out, come out, come out. Oh my gosh, look how much dust in there. This is fairly new, this is branded 2014. So just a three year old drill, it's a shame if I can't fix it, let's see, alright, let the electrical away, okay, alright, and that's the motor, out of the way, you see, the motor is in very good shape, in fact it wasn't very good, but look at the molly grease, my mom is going to kill me, so for now we have just removed this one. So now we have to get this clip off. And we don't have the proper tool, so now we see what, what the fuck we can we do here. Let's see if we can do it. Oh God, if we can do it the old fashioned way. Fact is that I don't have to break it, so that's more hard much harder to do. I can't break anything. Stupid clips. Story of my life. With a bit of a struggle with my mom's help I managed to pull this out. Okay. Then there is now we remove the cap, ring spring. Washer, ring spring again. Let's see. Come on. There is, a, there is a washer now. We should get out fairly easy in theory. Come on. There you go. Ring spring and washer. Then rubber washer. Again. Okay. Rubber washer out. Here. There is molly grease everywhere. And then Chuck cover, yes, oh nice, and then ring, ah nice, yeah but don't do shit here, there is a steel ball too, uh, yes, I know that's what's for, for, for this motion here, ah, crap, come out, little ball because this holds it has to slide up so it spins this is here this is this locks I finally found what's wrong with this one basically this one this uh, this one is like a lock the locks this in place so this this one can hammer and this one has to slide in here let me put some light it has to slide in there you see that that spring here and it, it moves back and forth like this yes that way
this one moves like this only that this has to go down there completely so basically there was some shit in the rail it was this teeth here this tooth this is a, a tooth from a gear and it was like stuck in the rail so this that that part wasn't going completely down so when you turn this this knob here you will get stuck because it was suspicious to me that this one was perfect mechanically wise and when I put it back in it wouldn't work let's see without the mechanics and it got stuck again so I checked the, I mean this one is worn because of course people tried to force it because okay, now I will force it and it will go but it won't because there was this inside so now we are going to put everything back together which is going to be a pain because I forgot that there is also the, the chuck to reassemble ok now we have to put the grease that went everywhere and for start we put back this mechanism here because it always falls off so this one is ready here let me put it on the side now we have to put the grease back okay. and this is a molly grease I don't know if it, there is enough it's 3 percent molly I think it's better than nothing come on out So we have all of these parts here, and these bolts to go. Ha ha ha. Let's see, what's first? Says spring. Let's see where these bolts went. There are, where is it? One ball here. Now, now, now it's going to be challenging. This has to stay in place. <laughs> it will never stay in place. One thing. Another one. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Then it says that there is this thing here. I wouldn't want to put this wrong because then it's going to be really bad if you put it wrong. First the rubber washer. I wonder where the fuck my other screwdriver went. Here it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm putting it the wrong way. Okay. Rubber washer, metal washer. Okay. Then I get a ring. Should be the the what larger one? Yes. Ah, this is going to be a pain. Oh, it was easier than I thought. Nice. Ah, oh, now it stays in place. It's a bit bent. I'm going to squeeze it back in place. Ah! Go back there. Then what else? Then there is this ring one. How is this put? I don't know. It has a notch. So. squeeze this as well just a little bit uh, 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 uh. ok we can go back in you 
soon they go back in. Ah. It's going to be Nick's at breakfast. Ah, oh, God! I don't know if there is a proper tool for this, I don't know. Ah! Oh, mission accomplished! Okay. This is in place, and then we added this rubber cap here. Okay. So now I put the carbons back in. Ah. Yes, also need this ring here. Can you get the fuck away? Okay. I have to put the ring in. Maybe no magnetized screwdriver. Okay. Now we put this one in. I think we're in. Yes, we are. Now we have to fit this one on here. It's a spin, so it shouldn't be that hard. Yes! Okay. Now we have four screws in here. Now we put the two. So it stays in place and now we're going to try to... Ah, grease again. So if you happen uh, to have removed the, the motor, and then you don't know how to put the brushes back in. The, the quickest way is to get this out, this thing here. I'm getting some of the crap out. You take this one out, you take the spring away. This is going to be a bit difficult. You take this spring out. Now you're going to release and you take them away. One. This is the quickest way that I found, maybe. Because yes, in theory they should be pushed back and that's it, but they won't go. When you put your carbon back in, connect it where it should go. One here. This I chipped it a bit, I guess. And then this one goes here. And it's cable. Then when when you have this one where they should go push them back and get the springs let me see they should go like this so you put them in like as such and do not put them back like load, load them i guess then put this and get this stay there then you're going to slide this in where it should go as a way, okay. Of course, watch with this button because this button releases uh, releases everything. So now to put these springs back in, this has to make to make a full revolution. So I do this one. I'll try to sneak it in. There you go. Go. This is about the same thing only harder and again maybe I have to pass on this other side otherwise it's going to be impossible there okay. Finally, I'm going 
this back in so this wire surely went there as well as this one okay. lock everything back in place did I put everything? yes put this in. so I finally I reassembled everything now it works it changes as it's supposed to yes, this is hammer function and this is done so tomorrow we'll borrow the 110 volt transformer because I have one but I lost it so thank you for watching I hope this was helpful for you thank you again